Today in this video, I will be introducing you to our Dairy Entrepreneurship Development Program which we started around 11 years back in 2007. We conduct this program every two months at our NIDA office. We do it at other regions also like Hyderabad, Bombay and recently we did it at Jaipur. It is a seven steps path to your dream dairy project. So first I would like to tell you about the program on dairy land. In this program the seven important steps which we will be covering starts with raw milk procurement and pricing, infrastructure and statutory requirements, demand and product mix, processing and packaging technology, quality control and regulatory, manpower and lastly value addition and profitability. In raw milk procurement and pricing, we consider that you have to procure milk from dairy farmers. But before that, you need to understand what is milk and what are its various components. Then we talk about different kinds of milk procurement modes, how this milk is tested against any kind of adulteration and how the price of milk is computed. Finally, how it reaches to the plant and are there any methods for milk cooling before it reaches to the plant. Once we are done with procurement, then we talk of the infrastructure. What are the site requirements where you want to set up the plant? The most important thing being where you are going to drain your effluent. What are different kind of plant layouts based on the process layouts? Where the location of plant should be? What are the size of various kinds of plants in terms of capacities both for milk and milk products? What is the costing for plant infrastructure? particularly building if you want to go for RCC or for sheds and lastly what are the legal requirements for setting up a dairy plant. In next section we talk about the most important thing that is the market. So what are different types of dairy products? How to conduct a market survey? We will show you a couple of surveys so that you can understand what all needs to be learned and understood and surveyed before you actually go for your dream dairy project. We will also give you some rule of thumb based on our experience on how to compute demands for milk and milk products in any town, city or metros wherever you are planning to set it up. Understanding consumer behavior is the most critical thing and we will help you understand more about it and how to actually capture consumer insights. Finalizing capacity of plant is another thing which will help you with and then finalizing of packaging depending on shelf life, depending on your footprint, the reach which you want to have for your product. In processing and packaging technology which is the heart of any dairy plant, we will tell you why to process milk. How does processing help you do value addition? What are different types of processing? And what are the standard capacities or equipments which are available in the market? We will also tell you about utilities, packaging technologies. How will you transport your finished goods to the market in a good condition? And finally, what should be your standard product mix? We will talk about manpower, what are different types of manpower being required, what should be the organizational structure based on the size of your project, what are the sources of good manpower and finally what are the prevailing salary structure of manpower and what is a tentative job profile of these people. We will talk about quality and regulatory in terms of standards of milk and milk products. What are the testing requirements? What are the good manufacturing 
requirements at the factory level as per schedule 4 of FSSCI, the food safety part of it, pathogen environment monitoring, regulatory compliance and finally how could you get yourself registered with FSSCI and under which category. Lastly we will be talking about marketing and profitability, the factors which affect profitability in a dairy plant, the cost structure of various processes, financial projections of a few libraries and bank requirements for funding. So in totality if you attend this one day program then you will find yourself confident enough to take decision on whether to go for this project or not and if it is a go to kind of a thing then you know it very well that what steps are to be covered next. Thanking you.